Are you a little bit bored of the way your bathroom look and ready to give it a facelift but you have a small budget? Well, in this video, I am going to show you how to achieve that with just under $200. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kayan from Hey Mamio, and if you are a subscriber, thank you for your support. In today's video, I am going to show you how to give your bathroom a facelift with a small budget. And it is renter friendly. And Mamios, if you also enjoy low budget DIY project, consider subscribing. And this one is a simple DIY. All right, back to this project. We are going to repaint the wall. And the paint actually is in really good shape still. It's a warmer tone. Um, however, I do like a crisp white for bathroom. Change the flooring. And then the vanity here, as you can see, some of the paints are chipping off. So probably we'll sand it down and then give it a lighter, brighter color. And add some handles. Um, I actually have been thinking about doing this project for six months. First thing that I'm going to do is this medicine cabinet. I just find it against the frame is pretty bulky, brown and brown. I'm going to need my power drill. My power drill. So this project definitely has a lot of first times for me, including this. Next thing to do is take off all the outlet cover they are beige so I think I'm gonna change them white otherwise it will look just kind of silly against a white wall take up all the doors <laughs> and this happened so all the easy parts are almost done hairs up ready to send this bad boy down what are we going to do now to sanding sanding all right, let's get started. Let's get started. Okay, so actually I wouldn't recommend to sand and have your kids in there. Um, I quickly realized that it gets pretty dusty. And also you probably don't have to sand down everything just because our paint built up quite a bit. So I decided to exfoliate. The next thing I did is to use some wood putty, fill out any holes and cracks to provide the vanity with a little bit of smoother surface before we start painting. And here is what it looks like. I went a little bit crazy and started buffing the wall too because it has that texture and I want it to look a little bit smoother. And the vanity, after sanding it, the paint down, this part actually took me the longest to buff it and make it look smooth again. Before I started the project, I did some research and it said that most of the professional painters spend at least half of their time in preparation before they even start painting. So covering up all these surfaces. And now we can start painting. One thing I learned from personal mistake from this project is do not use regular masking tape. Make sure you're using professional painter's tape. And we missed this one spot. <laughs> but I'm liking it already. It's so much brighter. I am loving it. And we use this paint, satin, to coat. Then I move on to scrape off all the paint from the door because they were already flicking off. And I use a roller rolled on two coat. Then move on to the flooring, which is I'm so excited about this tiles. It is by Floor Pops, 12 by 12 inches peel and stick tile. They've been pretty popular, so they are all sold out online everywhere. But I found this from Hobby Lobby and it is pretty easy to install until it gets to the edges and where the toilet is so you just have to take your time to measure it out cut it make sure that it fits then it's just peel and stick the whole thing probably took me around four or five hours 
After that, just do a little bit of caulking all around the edges. It definitely gives it a little bit cleaner, more professional look. And I got mine from Home Depot and it's a silicone base. And ta-da! Look at how good this looks! I'm so happy how it turns out and the great thing is once it's out of style, when I get tired of it, I can just peel it up. The next thing is move it onto the vanity. I'm going to repaint it and add some handles. Since ours didn't have any handles previously, I will have to pre-drill some holes. And quick tip is find a drill bit that is just a tad thicker than the size of your handle. Use a screwdriver, give it a quick tap, create the indentation, uh, makes it more accurate when you pre-drill the hole. You definitely don't want to pre-drill the hole too big because that way your handles is going to be wiggling around. Here you go. I got this one from Hobby Lobby 50% off. The rest of the handles are from Home Depot. It comes in a pack of four and it was less than $23. And next we will move on to the shelf above the toilet. So at Home Depot, they have a pile of scrap wood that is deeply discounted. So this piece of wood cost me less than $3. I asked them to cut it in half. And I also bought some corner bracket. That's what they were before. And I spray painted them uh, black. And it was less than $5 for four of them, which is perfect for two shelves. And I just used the stain from the last project, stain the wood. Once they were dry, then I start pre-drilling the holes for the brackets. Quick tip for pre-drilling the hole. So use the screw, measure it out the length, and then use a piece of painter tape to mark it. And that way you can remind yourself how far you can go. That way you don't go all the way through. And of course, utilize all the tools that you have. Make sure that they are level, they are even before you put it on the wall. Then last thing is to decorate. Definitely, it is one of my favorite parts. This project took about eight days. Most of the time, I only spend half of the days. I really enjoyed the whole process and now it's ready. So having wall shelves above the toilet is super trendy and they are all over Pinterest. One main reason I decided to do it, it is because it is functional besides just looking good. Believe it or not, I must say, one of my favorite part is probably the handles on the vanity. It just make it so much easier to open. And I'm pretty happy with the decision of leaving the door off of the medicine cabinet. So the bathroom before is warmer tone and now it's a little bit brighter and just kind of give it a quick makeover. And it is both budget and renters friendly. And if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like it, subscribe it, share it. Which part is your favorite part? What other project you would like to see me doing next? Make sure you share and comment below. I would love to hear some feedbacks. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Hey. Are you helping?